Hello, this is ITL 530 post two. We're talking about challenging or addressing challenging behaviors and building positive relationships with our students. Uh, in this post, I'm gonna talk about teacher to, teacher to student, um, relationship building skills, um, using SEL strategies, and also ways that we can get students to build healthy relationships in the classroom. The first thing I want to say is I think it's so important. The, the, the first couple things that I'm going to address are things that we can do as educators without even speaking. Um, make sure that we're aware of space in our class, uh, proximity. You know, um, you can tell a lot about a student who may be having a hard time if that student is isolating himself from other kids in the class. If that happens, um, just like in the in the TED talk, she talked about seeking to understand and not really attacking the student because he or she may not be in her assigned seat. Um, so instead of saying, "Hey, why are you off task? Why you why are you sitting here?" Maybe go up to that student and start the conversation by saying, "Hey, is everything okay? Can I get you anything?" Um, so it just, just the, it's the how in how we address the, the situation. Um, and then using nonverbals, you know, making eye contact, um, making sure that we're, our shoulders are squared to the students that we're talking to. And this, this can work student to, or educator to student or students to student. I think it's important that we teach our kids that little things like eye contact and just facing the direction of whoever is speaking. Uh, it's, it's kind of a respect thing and um, it's going to help them in, in um, their professional lives one day. So um, I think it's a, it's a great time to start this kind of stuff now. But um, nonverbals, again, eye contact, shoulders squared to who you're talking to. You know, smile, uh, have those warm nonverbal communication skills. And um, so that's before we even we even speak and to go even further, making sure we listen to our students and listen to our colleagues. Um, you know, there's that there's that saying, um, you know, that's why we're born with two two ears and, and one mouth, um, because listening is so much more important than speaking. Um, and usually the, you know, it's always said that the quietest one in the room is the one with the most wisdom. And, um, I believe that in a lot of arenas. Um, and then, uh, next I would say, you know, using the environment to connect with your students. And I mean that as in, you know, like the shirt I have on right now, Toronto Blue Jays shirt, um, you know, maybe some kid has this shirt on and I say, hey, like, have you ever been to Toronto? Um, do you like the Blue Jays? You know, you can start a connection that way. I, you know, some of my closest friends to this day are, are friends that I've met just because of say, hey, man, like, where'd you get those Nikes? I really like those shoes. You know, so just using the environment and it, it could be clothing or if we're on the on the PE field or on the football field, you see, you know, a certain kid that is athletic and can move the right way, you know, Hey, do you, do you play baseball? What kind of sports do you play? Um, so, you know, just using the environment and using what you see as information can, can help, um, us teachers tremendously, uh, to get to know our students at a higher level. Other things that you can do in the classroom are like mood checks. Uh, I was in a special ed classroom before I was a campus supervisor and, one thing the master teacher always did was she posted like a mood meter on the uh, PowerPoint slide and all the kids would have to, ch have to check in and select the uh, whatever mood that they were, they were in that day. Uh, that's a good I idea um, to use technology and you can kind of tally up and get an overall vibe with how your classroom is emotionally. Um, and then last but not least, 
maybe delegating some time probably at the start of class, you know, to have your students connect and maybe, you know, maybe they can popcorn around the room. Each person can say, you know, what they did this weekend or maybe compliment, um, say something positive about another student in the class. So just, you know, popcorn activities like that. Maybe you have, have the kids pair up, talk about what they did this weekend, what their interests are, you know, what foods they ate. Um, that's just a great way to, to spark conversation and to get our students and our educators to all connect. So you guys let me know what you think of this video. I appreciate all your feedback. Um, I'm learning a lot from you guys as well. So um, I can't believe we're already two weeks in. Uh, this class is going to fly by. So um, I'm enjoying it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you.